done doing some cameo calls. It was really awesome. I got to hang out with some of my awesome fans and it was just a good old time. It felt so much like when I've gone to conventions and I'm just chatting it up at my table with my fans. So positive vibes to everyone who joined me. I'm going to be doing it more often. I just been <sighs> trying to figure things out, blah, blah, blah. But, um, it seemed like the general vibe I got from everyone I met with was they asked me how I was doing, you know, dealing with everything that's been going on. And one of the things that I just kept telling them was like, you know, I still feel really weird. I still have my things that I go through. But, you know, I'm just trying to stay positive. And earlier when I was doing cardio, I was just like, you know, I think something that needs to be talked about more, I guess, is how it's hard to deal with death. And not just death, but when it's a tragic death. And being that I'm a retired wrestler, it's like, you know, there's so many deaths that you're just like, throughout your career, you kind of experience from being around all these different people, all walks of life. And a lot of them are like, dude, they were too young to go, you know, it was, shouldn't have been their time, whatever it was, you know. And I know for me, I've talked about it before. It's like, when Shannon passed away, I dealt with my whole thing with like my connection with her, right? But separately from that, then I started getting triggered thinking about Fred and how my dog Fred passed away in February. And then I started thinking about Melissa Coates and how she passed away in June. And then I started thinking about Ashley Massaro and then I started thinking about my grandma and then Ethel and then my dad and then my grandpa and it's just like, and there were times where I was just sitting with my feelings and I didn't realize that it was because all those things were being triggered. I had to sit back and be like, dude, what's really wrong with me right now? Like, what's really like the issue here? Why am I struggling so much right now? Why do I have so much anxiety? Because it was like nonstop for many, many days, almost a week, just like feeling anxiety. And it's so draining. I don't know if you can relate when you're like days and days of just anxiety so I just wanted to throw that out there if anyone out there is struggling with absorbing and mourning Shannon Daphne however you know her her life if you find yourself really going to like this weird place, maybe you're like me where you're not realizing that all those other deaths that you've experienced are being triggered. And even though it sucks when you have to like go through your feelings and sit with them and try to understand them, it's super hard. Don't want to go there. It's easier just not to deal with it. Like I'm here to tell you if you need a sign, here I am to tell you. It's so worth it. And once you're able to start confronting these different things that are in your life, that continue to be in your life that you struggle with, that's the first step. And then when you continue, it's like you'll start to see the healing happen, you know? But it's real frustrating sometimes because you don't know that's what the problem is. You're just like, what the F is wrong with me? Like, why can't I stamp out of this? Like, why can't I get this under control? Whatever. And so like in my discovery, I just want to pay forward and share. That's what's up sometimes. And so if you needed to hear that, there you go. I'm your proof that, um, you know, just try to stay positive, take it day by day. It's okay to be a little stuck within your feelings because you have to figure out why you're feeling certain ways, you know? Anyways, that was just on my heart to share. I'll talk to you guys later. Adios.